Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to St. Luke's. Welcome home. Pastor Louis Taliano, and it is my privilege to be able to worship this morning. This morning is possibly the scariest week in the church calendar. Every year we have this week. Brilliant final judgments. Talking about judgment with respect to the very words of Jesus. Please stand. The Son will judge all. Our Gospel is from John chapter 5. Jesus gave them this answer. I tell you the truth. The Son can do nothing by Himself. He can do only what He sees His Father doing. Because whatever the Father does, the Son also does. The Father loves the Son and shows Him all He does. Yes, to your amazement, He'll show him even greater things than these. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son gives life to whom he's pleased to give it. Moreover, the Father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son, just as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed over from death to life. I tell you the truth. A time is now coming and has now come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the Son of Man. Don't be amazed at this. For a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done good will rise to live. And those who have done evil will rise to be condemned. By myself I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear. And my judgment is just. For I seek not to please myself, but he who sent me. This is the gospel of our Lord. will rise to live. And those who have done evil 
will rise to be condemned. Does that bother anyone else? I mean, doesn't that sound like I don't hear anything in there about Jesus died for your sins. I hear, do good, go to heaven. Do evil, you're condemned. And if that's what it says, then what I just said about I'm going to heaven because of Jesus, have I been preaching a lie? Have I been wrong? This is pretty serious, and we want to make sure we get this right, because Judgment Day is coming. You are going to stand in front of the judge, and if that's the way it's going to be judged, if I stand there and say, Jesus died for my sins, and the judge says, nope, you did evil, you're going to be condemned, well, you know, I want to know about that. This is something that's very practical, because it's about you, and what's going to happen to you. So we need to find out what this is, this is about. Which is it? Are we judged based on what we do? Or based on what Jesus has done? All those who have done evil will rise to be condemned. Well, evil. That can't be that bad, right? I mean, evil. Yeah, we mess up sometimes. Okay, I've sinned, sure. But evil? Really? But then again, my opinion doesn't really matter. And you might be offended with this, but your opinion doesn't matter either. If you've ever stood in front of a judge, you know that what you say, what you think, doesn't matter. What matters is what the judge thinks. He's the one who's going to be judging you. And so it doesn't matter what I think or what you think. We've got to ask, what does the judge think? And it's a good thing, because we know Jesus is the judge, and he tells us in that section. It says, the Father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the Son, so Jesus is the one who's going to be judging us, that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. And this is one of those verses that, frankly, is really hard. Catch what it said. If you do not honor Jesus, you do not honor God. If you do not have Jesus, you do not have God. And that is really, really hard. Because you know, you know people, and you love people who say, well, yeah, I believe in God, but they don't have this Jesus God. Yeah, yeah, I believe in God, but Jesus died for my sins, ah, whatever. And it hurts. And we try to convince ourselves, well, they got God, that's good enough, and then Jesus says, well, yeah, if you don't have me, you don't have God. And it hurts. It really does. This is one of those hard verses. But it's also one of those verses that motivates us. What's our mission statement here? What is the mission of St. Luke's? To welcome all those who are hurting and in need by introducing and sharing the good news of our Savior. That's why we want to share Jesus, and it's not just about feeding bellies or just about inviting people in for a good time. We want them to know Jesus. So this is a hard verse. It really is. When you take it seriously, it hurts. Because you look out and you say, I know this person here. I know this person that I love dearly. And they've rejected Jesus. They don't have Jesus. And this says, those who have done evil, those who have rejected Jesus, will rise to be condemned. And so I look out and I hurt. But you know what? Don't worry. It gets worse. I look at myself and I say, well, I don't do evil, right? I, I mean, I don't, I don't come over here and punch someone in the face and steal the stuff. I, I'm not that bad, really. But then God comes to us in First Corinthians chapter ten. He says, "Whatever you do, 
Not what you do Sunday morning, not what you do Wednesday evening, not what you do, but whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. And if it is not done to the glory of God, it is now evil. It's a sin. I woke up this morning. Did I wake up and, and hit the alarm clock and say, this is to the glory of God? No. No, I didn't. That was evil. Ate breakfast this morning. Why did you eat breakfast? Did you eat breakfast to the glory of God? No. It's not evil. Uh, I, I go to work. Am I going to work for the glory of God? No, let's be honest. And it starts weighing us down. And it makes us really realize, wow. If we're talking about those who have done evil will rise to be condemned, that's me. And the Bible does not pull any punches here. Romans chapter 3 says this. What should we conclude then? <coughs> we ain't better. Not at all. We've already made the charge that Jews and Gentiles are all alike under sin, as it's written. There's no one righteous. Not even one. There's no one who understands. No one who seeks God. All have turned away. They have together become worthless. There is no one who does good. Not even one. There is no fear of God before their eyes. There is no difference. For all the sin falls short of the glory of God. Stand before the judge and say, Well, I tried hard. Do you really want to do that? <laughs> so, sometimes we think, I'm trying hard. That counts for something, right? Let's, let's go with that. I try as hard as I can. Let's say that's, the, that's how we're going to be judged. Let's pretend. I try hard. What does God judge better? Just in general, what does God judge better? Saving up money and taking out every person to eat, getting them some candy, walking them to your home to eat, or watching a movie on TV or Netflix. Which do you think God would judge? Yes. This is a better use of your time. What do you think? Both of them. Both of them? Mm -hmm. Which one do you think God would judge as a better use of time? Serving another or serving myself? Yeah, serving others. Yeah. That's what we generally say, right? Uh-oh. If I tried hard, but I took time off to watch a movie, maybe I don't want to be judged that way. Because I have not tried as hard as I could. I have not done all I could. If you want to be judged on I tried hard, that is a wage greater than anyone can carry. You don't want to be judged that way. Judgment day is going to come. Many of us may well be in the grave at that point. I don't know when Jesus is coming back. He makes that point. He says, no one knows. It might be now. It might be 500 years ago. I don't know. But on that day, your lungs are going to fill with air. Whether you're dead or not, your lungs will be filling with air at that point. You feel the cool of the air against your skin. And you'll stand in front of the judge. And he will look at you and he will see everything you've ever done. Everything you've ever thought, everything you've ever felt. And you will know that he is righteous when he judges, and he is right when he speaks. All those who have done evil will rise to be condemned. If that is the truth, I don't know. Because there's no difference between me and a crack addict. A murderer, an abortion doctor, a, a politician who steals from the taxpayers. I'm the same. There's no difference.
Is it even worth going to the next life? All those who have done good will rise to life. That's not me. Romans 3 says there's no one who's done good.
those things. Because when Jesus looks at you, he sees good. Judgment day will come, your heart will beat, and the blood will flow through your veins, and you will stand before the judge. But the judge is your brother who died for you. And he will look at you, and he will say, Beloved, you are not condemned. Beloved, well done. Good and faithful servant, come, come to the inheritance I have prepared for you, where there is no more sorrow and no more tears. You see, that verse is right, and you do not have to fear it. Those who have done evil, Christ be condemned. Those who walk away from the forgiveness Jesus gives, it's true. That's why we want to share Jesus. Because for you, the Son of Righteousness rises with healing in its wings. And you're going to go out. You ever see an animal that's just been released from a stall after they've been pent up for a while? And how happy they are? Go home. Look it up on YouTube. It is amazing. You look at that. You can't help but laugh and enjoy for this animal. And that is what will happen to you. You will rejoice in Judgment Day. Because you are not condemned. There is no for you. You are free. Jesus has died for you. No condemnation. Amen. Mm -hmm. Please stand. Good morning. Mm -hmm. This week was final judgment. It is a little scary. There's no condemnation for you. Mm -hmm. Next week is part two. You will rise to life. The next week is saints triumphant when we focus on what that life is going to be. It's going to be awesome. Thank you for joining me this week. It encourages me to worship with the family that I get to worship with forever. <laughs>